Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex. This is the Ramble. See, that's what it said. I'm the fourth most infected city in the United States until midnight tonight, Eastern Time. His name is Larry Bubbles Brown, and Larry is a comedian. Right, Larry? A comedian, uh, an, an occupation that no longer exists because of the virus. Yeah, and um, uh, he is in San Francisco, California, and he is an old friend and trusted colleague. How's that? You like that? That sounds very... <laughs> is this my uh, eulogy? <laughs> yeah, this is your eulogy. Uh, yeah, I need coffee today, and I left it in the other room, but I'll go get it for our next one. Anyway... Uh, so how's things out in California? You say you've got the uh, sniffles today or something? Well, we both have allergies, so uh, I didn't have them until a few years ago. Now I seem to get them every year. It's really annoying. Well, you know what I, you know what I do? Uh, what I bought? I went out and bought a air purifier. Oh, okay. Uh, and it seems to help a little bit, but I have sinus pressure, so I don't know if that has to do with it at all. But it, it, so far as allergies are concerned, it uh, filters out pollen and gives you... The room smells fresher, you know? It feels fresher. So. Well, how much those cost? Uh, this one cost me 200 bucks. But I have a big room. I have a big room. In your case, you could probably get the tiniest one made. Yeah. Yeah. My prison cell here. For your, yeah, your prison cell. Have, have you been going out at all? Uh, just to run, there's uh, a few places are open now. Like you can go to uh, you can go to restaurants and order food, but you have to eat it outside. Yeah, um, and I guess the same's in New York, right? Well, yeah. Well, you know, we're so happy here in New York because uh, uh, you were the first state to pass us in number of cases, <laughs> uh, and then uh, let's see here, Florida just passed us. In cases, so we're now number three. We used to be number one without question, okay. And now and all we of a were sudden, really low at the beginning. Now we've gone. We've raced to the top. And Texas is about oh about ten thousand behind us. So they're coming up quick, and it looks like they're going to beat us, and we're going to be number four. Well, Matt, you won. <laughs> well, you know we could still be number one, but our damn governor decided to clear up the situation and so we're we're really having very few cases here i mean it's amazing uh, uh, there are only something like 725 people in hospitals here with covid in the entire state and what was it at the peak oh god i don't thousands. know thousands upon thousands yeah we were doing 800 deaths a day we're now down to it fluctuates between like five and twelve. You know, there's a fluctuation in there. Yeah. But that's you know that's pretty good. Well, maybe it'll go away. Well, I don't think so. It's not not with the way the American people are. Today, somebody wrote an op-ed in the New York Times saying the reason we're never going to solve this problem in the United States is because Americans are selfish. He said, and they just don't know how to watch out for each other. And they, so they feel their they're right to not wear a mask, for instance, is it's their constitutional right. Bullshit. It's my constitutional right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And I think the first caveat there is life. Life? <laughs> well, uh, I was just thinking, you know, we have flu seasons, and if those run about four months, right? Yeah. Why can't this one go away? Well, because this is a different kind of flu. This is this is a much more, to begin with, this is a far more insidious flu than the others. The others are, you know, they're flus. They're just little, they're annoyances. And people die from them, by the way, I might add. Well, a lot die, yeah. Yeah. 
But this one, it, this one isn't going to go away because it is highly infectious. And unless we do what we've got to do, wear masks, social distancing, uh, don't have indoor uh, dining, uh, all these all these things that we've been told we should do, unless you know, if we do that, we strangle the virus. We give it no way to spread, and then it dies. But what we're doing is we're creating situations that's enhancing its ability to live and to survive and to spread. And since it's far more insidious than a lot of others, you know, the, the, the virus we got here in New York, since it came from Europe, may be a different strain of the virus. I mean, there are things like that that are going on that are, you know. Now, we what we've done is we just, he put everybody indoors. He said, don't come out. Wear a mask if you go out. Social distance. We're cleaning the subways. He did all the things that needed to be done, and by doing that, we strangled the virus. You know, and now we're the cleanest state in the country. There's no state cleaner than this one. Now that that may not remain so because all you infected people from the other states are coming here. So they go, people go, oh, well, it's clean in New York. Let's get out of Georgia and go to New York. Thank you very much. All right? Don't they quarantine you if you're coming from out of well, state? they ask you to quarantine yourself. They can't, they can't follow you. We don't have the, the resources uh, legally to chase people around and figure out where they're going and how they're handling the situation, you know? So it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, it's, it's sad. It's really sad. In fact, well, I'm trying to... If we're going to get a vaccine, that seems a little uh, lofty. Well, I think we'll get a, fa- a vaccine, but it's not going to be before the first of the year. And in the meantime, we could have another 50,000 deaths. You know, what I don't get is here in New York, we pretty much solved it. You know, uh, it isn't a matter so much as solving it, but being assiduous in the way you handle it. New Yorkers, when they... When they're told, hey, you know, that you got to do this or you're going to die, they do it. Uh, and New Yorkers are very tough that way. And so we all, I mean, I mean, I know that I stayed indoors for, God, I think the first maybe two months I didn't go out. Incredible. You know, and then when I started to go out, it was like for a short time and then come back and then wash your hands and take a shower and, uh, uh, you know, all of that. Now it's a little easier. I, I was, the other day I went the furthest I've ever been away from this apartment in the entire five months. I went to Mount Sinai Hospital, which is about 20 blocks away. That's the furthest I've been out of this house. <laughs> but, you know, the question is, even if I go out, where is there to go? You know, nothing's open. I'm not going to a movie. I'm not going to go down to Apple to look at the latest uh, gizmo or whatever, or go to Best Buy and get myself some electronics or, you know, whatever I might do on a normal Sunday. I'm not going to go to the Gap and buy some shirts, right? So even if I could go out, there's nothing to do once I get there, you know, so. So that brings up another thing where we're going to, I think this is going to lead into a huge depression, all these businesses that won't come back uh i think you're right i think you're very right um uh i think that that we are getting into a uh into a very bad situation in which the government doesn't really have the ability to solve the problem you know they they they, they're too busy fighting over what they're going to do you know yeah yeah. and how they're going to do it and are we going to give them money? And how are we going to give them the money? Well, we don't want to give them the money and have them just waste it, you know. I mean, all this all this stuff. Rather than just saying, hey, look, look, pal, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's time that you, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 you as a government start watching out for the people, damn it, you know. Um, and, and that doesn't uh, that doesn't seem to exist. So it's 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 we don't know how to handle this kind of thing. We're too, again we're too selfish. 
you know, the government is too selfish. I heard somebody yesterday say, well, we can give them, the, we can give them $600 uh, additional to their uh, unemployment, but, you know, they should have to prove they really need it because we don't want people just staying home and not going back to work because we're giving them too much. What work? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's that kind of idiocy, and I, I don't understand it, to tell you the damn truth. You know. But how is it out there? Is it bad in San Francisco? Is it kind of calm? I, I looked and I saw that San Francisco wasn't as profoundly hit, say, as L.A. No, I think L.A.'s been hit really bad. But uh, it, it seems to be almost business as usual around here. I don't think uh, everyone everyone's really good about wearing the mask. Mm-hmm. So yeah. People are definitely traffic is back up to normal. Yeah. As before there was a somebody somebody said I'm now getting two months a ga- to a gallon. Two months to two to months a gallon. to a gallon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh, you know. That was weird though. It's just you know you know it's just how traffic is out here. You'd go out and there was literally no one on the street. Oh, that was nice. But yeah. That's all gone now. Right. Right. So, uh, uh, so it's uh, it, it's uh, it's okay, huh? It's okay. The hospitals are not overwhelmed, and uh, what I've heard is the virus may have mutated a little to the, where it's it's more contagious but less lethal. It's got a pretty low death rate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it's not a question that it's less lethal. I think we have come up with ways of solving the problem more in other words treating it uh we're we're not exactly treating it like we once were okay uh they're they're having a tendency not to use uh respirators you know those what do you call it? whatever they call ventilators them. ventilators uh that's the last thing they do because they don't want to put you on one because if they put you on one there's only an 80 percent chance you're going to serve a 20 percent chance you're going to survive so that's a big problem that way. Um, and they, they've also found that if they lie people on their stomachs, it helps. Uh, because for some reason it allows the lungs to open up or something like that. So in other words, there are things they found in the, you know, the people who first died of this died because we just didn't know what the hell we were doing. Now we kind of know what we're doing, so the death rate has gone down. It would be far worse if this were at the beginning and you were having to deal with this at the beginning. So, you know. Yeah, you don't want to get a... If they say you get in the ventilator, <laughs> you've got a pretty good chance of dying. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, why why deal with that? You know, why, you did... So they've, they've learned that they've got to... They've got to up their game a little bit. There are different ways of handling the situation, and certain things aren't as deadly as others, you know. So, uh, so you probably remember this, and I had it. In 1968, 69, there was the Hong Kong flu that that killed 150 thousand people. Yeah, I um, worldwide, I think. No, in the United oh, States. In the United States, 150 thousand. Yeah, Hong Kong flu. Huh. Look it up. I, I'm going to have to look that up. I, I don't think so, because this is we've lost uh, almost 150 thousand to this, and this is the deadliest flu I think we've ever seen. Well, it said 100. It said if they adjusted the population, it would be 150 thousand. Oh, adjusted. Yeah. Oh, okay. In other words, it, it was it, if you took the percentage and then adjusted it to today's yeah. population, it would be 150 thousand. Right. That's a lot. But it still it isn't 150,000, you know. So it, dead is dead. So, I know. Very yeah. sad. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you know anybody who has COVID? I don't know anyone, no. Really? Okay. Because I know somebody who does. So, you know, but it's, it's scary, you know. It's, it's now killing. Uh, there's a nine-year-old kid in Florida who died of it. And they say the yeah. kids don't die of it. And yeah, I'm it's saying, really rare for a kid, apparently. Well, try telling that to a parent, okay, who is now being told, send your kid to school. Now, maybe there's only one kid who died in Florida who was nine years old. But are you going to take the chance that your kid's going to be the second nine-year-old to die? 
<laughs> he might if you don't want them living yeah. <laughs> homeschooled. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, this it's really it's 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 pretty terrible. The whole thing is just it's the worst thing. I think it's the worst thing psychologically that's ever happened to this country. Oh yeah, it's, uh, they said you can't get a uh, marriage counselor right now. They're so booked because of couples being at home 24-7 and getting on each other's nerves. Well, that's understood. But you're doing well. I'm doing okay. I haven't tried to kill her yet. So. Well, that's because you got a huge house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, time's up. Got to go. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Larry Bubbles Brown. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey there, everybody. Here we are, going with our with our, our other portion of the program. Thank you so much to Larry Bowles Brown. Love talking to him because, as I've said before, he gets me to talk. You know, he brings up stuff and so on. I gotta, should I get a facelift? Get rid, get rid of that and get rid of that, this here. How would I look when I look? I look I look kind of Chinese, wouldn't I? Oh well. Uh, then then Trump could hate me. All right. Okay. All righty. Let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Do I need a little more volume there? Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, welcome to our program. Welcome to the fourth most infected city in the United States. We have been beaten out now by. Uh, Florida, Texas, just to join the club, and California is number one for cases of COVID. So, you know, but uh, they had a nice little uh, little uh, thing today and uh, before Congress. You know, well, I'll get into it in a, in a bit here because it'll it'll take us time to kind of get ready. Uh, but anyway, uh, it's time now to go and uh, invite some people in. Now, I have uh, Howard in Hawaii. I know that. Okay. Uh, and uh, Charlie Wallace and Phil Meyer. Okay. Now, let me, uh, let me then um, uh, Go over here, and there they are, ladies and gentlemen. So far, that's the citizen panel. Hi, everybody. How are you? Yeah, now, let's see here. We'll add Rob Alfano, and we'll add Robert Natali. Mm -hmm. And now there's one person here and none. Now, I don't know. Is it, could that be John Larkin? I, I don't know. Let's see. If not, we'll get rid of him real fast. Okay, here we go. And none. Let's see who and none is. Uh, oh. <laughs> hey, Phil, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's our... Uh, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Ann Nunn. Do I sound better now? Huh? Yeah, you sound fine. I'm on my wife's uh, tablet. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. fine. <laughs> Vernon Nunn, actually. Oh. oh, and that's why it says Ann Nunn. Oh, okay. I, I see. I didn't know if it was going to be that or somebody trying to spoof me a bit tonight. Here comes, uh, here come, oh, come on, there we go, Jeff Stein, and this is so easy, and Josh Wheeler, so easy to use Zoom. Wow, look at all the people we get all of a sudden, right? Out. Oh, and Josh Wheeler, mm. oh, this is an embarrassment of riches tonight. So uh, easy. Yeah, hello, Robert's with us, and Rob is with us, and uh, Phil is with us, and um, uh, Charlie Wallace is with us, Vernon Nunn. Uh, Jeff and of course Josh Wheeler, uh, uh, and uh, I keep I keep wanting to go Josh Whedon. You know who Josh Whedon <laughs> is, don't you? He's a director. You know, right, Charlie? Yeah. 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 Anyway, hello to everybody. How are you? Uh, welcome Ooh, to my yeah. world. You know, I finally figured out why I'm tired all the time. Why I feel fatigue all the time from the radiation. You can have fatigue up to a year. Oh, Is that right, yeah, Vernon? Good. Yes, because you went through it. Are you feeling fatigued, Phil? Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. I am. Yeah. You, like, feel tired. You, you sleep, but you wake up, and you don't feel like you slept, right? Yeah. Um, I Towards, as the day progresses, I get more and more tired. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, between you and uh, and Vernon and myself, we are here on this show, the Cancer Cluster. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. we make it glow. Well, you, you went oh, like right. that, Robert. Yeah, have you had cancer too, <laughs> Robert? Have you had cancer too? No. Oh, you went like that, so I thought maybe. No, I, I was happy you have a group. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we have a support group here. Yeah. Uh, here comes Herbert Schoderheit. Uh, this has got to be John Larkin. Larkin. It's yeah. got to be Larkin, right? It's got to be Larkin. All right, let's see here. There, of course. You can't <laughs> fool us anymore, John. <laughs> How do you people like waiting in that waiting room? What does it look like? Does it have my logo there and stuff? Of course. No. It's, it's a No, but it's okay. It's clank. Yeah, it's okay. Can you hear the audio? From in there? No. no. No, you have to listen to it on another device. Oh, I yeah. see. Okay. So. You could upgrade the magazines, too. <laughs> yep, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, boy. Actually, I was listening on YouTube, and then I had to, you know, close that out once you let me into the room so it wouldn't get the feedback. Yeah. Well, I just, you know, I just, I don't know what it's like in there because I've never been in there, but I feel it's kind of like a... Uh, kind purgatory. Of, it's purgatory. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. How you doing, Rob? I'm doing okay. Had a little bit of a scare in my family uh, yesterday. My brother, who was three years younger than me, got rushed to the hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, he lost sight in one eye. Oh. He was working. Wow. Today, oh. it's determined he had a stroke, a, a mild stroke, and um, he's got AFib. All this stuff that he found out that he had because he hasn't been to a doctor since like 1989. Well, that would uh, that would do it. Of course, if, if you your don't brother go, if, lose course, some serious weight, he did. Yeah, of course, he gained if, a lot if, of it back. If you don't go to the doctor, you won't get sick. That's right. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'll give you I'll give you a good story. You still wearing your Apple Watch? Yeah. Got it on? Yeah. It's a it's a pretty cool thing. Yeah, because so, I, and but it's. <laughs> My brother tells me tonight, he's in the hospital, I called him on his cell phone, mm -hmm. and he says, guess what? Remember when I got the Apple Watch last Christmas? I mm -hmm. said, yeah. He said, you know, it told me to contact my doctor, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he ignored it. <laughs> he ignored it. Because, ignored it. I, I, oh, it's, it's, okay, Brian, it says not John Larkin. <laughs> Uh, it was sent to uh, because the watch, the watch has a uh, has a uh, defibrillator thing. How many people do we have, Phil? What what is it? Is a it, it's eleven. Is it a cancer cluster? What is it? It's a it's a it's a royal flush. A royal flush. Yeah. Royal flush. Okay, here we go. Royal flush. There we go. Um, um, it it um, what was I going to say? What were we talking about? The watch. the watch. The watch. It has a de it has a um, a heart rate thing. It has a <clears throat> and it uh, told him. Yeah. You need to contact your doctor. Yeah. 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 It's like the check engine light in your car, right? You it's just pretty ignore. cool when you think about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pretty freaking cool for a piece of wearable technology to be able to tell you you need well, to go to well, your doctor. Well, it's a. Uh, it's what do they call it? It's a. It's a. Elect. It's not an electrocardiogram. It's yeah. It's a, it's a cardiogram of some sort. Mm -hmm. And it can tell you when you're defibrillating. Right. And uh, it will go off when it senses it, you know. And it, uh, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a great feature on the watch. And they may be adding other stuff medically to this watch, but I think mm -hmm. they, they're kind of reticent, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Reticent. Right? Reticent to. Uh, because uh, uh, they don't want to get sued, you know. So they got to make sure whatever they tell you to do works. You know, and if they just point you to your doctor and you're smart enough to listen. Well, you know, if I important. want a medical opinion, OK, the first person I'm going to call if I feel sick or I feel ill, first person I'm going to call is Donald Trump. No, yeah. me. <laughs> of course, because he in fact, I don't know why we elected him president. He would have been a damn good surgeon general, wouldn't Take he? Take 100 milligrams of Clorox and call me in the morning. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, by the way, they had, a, they had a thing about another piece of misinformation, the thing about kids, that they're immune. Yeah. yeah. Today, yeah. Fauci said, no, they're not immune. They get the virus, but it's just that they don't have the same uh, uh, danger that you would have if you were older. However, 
they can pass it on to their family. Yeah. Very easily. Very easily. Yeah, and so, cases, but the, the president's telling everybody, ah, don't worry about your kids. Your kids are immune. You know, they, well, you see what's it, going on in baseball. I mean, it is very scary. It, yeah. And they're determined Miami, to play games. They are. But I mean, it, how many players on the um, Marlins are, are infected now? 20? 14, 20. I think it's 20. Uh, and and three, uh, a couple and of St. Three. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. And yeah. Well, how many three. guys are on a team to begin with? <laughs> you know? Well, there's, there's, you know, there's 30, 40 guys. 35 or but, you know, they're getting yeah. going to get down to their farm teams pretty soon. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's it, it, but, but uh, you know, I just have a special team for just sick people. Yeah, I think there's just been a lot of misinformation running around and we it's it's not good. It's not good. People should know they said the Marlins are going to play on Sunday. Are you crazy? Not yet. They haven't. I, haven't, I heard that that's the tentative date. That's if I hit key. the ball. I'm not running to first base. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know okay. if you're playing baseball and you just don't tag me now. If you're playing baseball, I guess you can keep kind of a social distance, except when somebody tags you. Yeah. But my question I mean, is, and this is a good question: every time you throw the ball, do you have to put hand sanitizer on it? They, they throw the ball the out ball, constantly. And then they touch the ball. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, don't if hit the ball a whole touches, rush, then you get mobbed at home plate. If the ball touches too many hands, it gets thrown out of the game. Well, so I, if, if it's going back yeah. and forth between the pitcher and catcher, that's fine. You notice a lot of times they won't throw the ball around, strike a guy out or whatever. They won't throw the ball around the field to get it back to the pitcher. They throw it straight back to the pitcher. Just oh, really? Keep, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's, you know, I mean, if you can't play the game without going through all this, don't play the game until, you know, you've got the – the vaccine or things like that. I know it's stupid. It, it, yeah, it, you know. I don't know. I'm enjoying it. The empty I think it's good yeah. for our psyche. It's good for the country. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah but it's not good for the sick. players. That's the well, problem. So I'll tell you this: the hmm. Yankees, um, and I know only because I follow the Yankees very closely. Yeah. Any of the players who have been affected by it so far have been symptomless. Really? Symptomless. Really? Okay. Yeah. But they've tested positive and they've gone through it. They've kept working out every day because they don't have any symptoms, but they're they have the virus. So these guys are young. They're in the tip top shape, and so far none of them have been. I don't know about the Marlins, but none of the Yankees who have had it, and there have been three so far. In fact, they're all just Chapman. Two other people. Yeah. Well, one Is of that- one of our team, one of our team, kind of, kind of our team. Um, has it, uh, or his family has it? Is yeah, Albert? Albert. Uh, and the, the Albert only has it. Uh, Albert does. Albert doesn't have it. He won't tell me who in the family has it. Oh, okay. He, because he says it's kind of like you know, uh, people will then put a stigma on them or something, you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, his household is uh, has mm. they're quarantined. Wow. Yeah. 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 Because somebody in the household got it because. His wife works at a supermarket, and his son, his stepson, works in a supermarket. And so I think it's probably one of them. But who knows? You know, I mean, Albert might have it now. Nah. Because, you know, it it, it does, it's a very infectious disease. That's the problem with it. It's, It's not, people say, well, it's like all the other flus. No, this is far more insidious and infectious. Yep. Otherwise, it wouldn't be causing the problem it's causing now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, Albert yesterday said to me, in the average year, uh, we lose 40,000 people to the flu. And I went, okay, that's fine. We're 110,000 more with this one. Wait, is yep. that worldwide it, or in this country? In this country. Oh, in this country. Yeah, but yeah. Fa- that, I said, and that's, oh, that's in far less time than that flu. The yeah. other flus affect you. We've so we've done four times that in, in 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 five months instead of a whole instead of twelve. What are they predicting? The next three months will be another. Did they say? Did I see? We'll two? hit one hundred eighty thousand in three months. One hundred eighty thousand. Oh boy. But, but no, I think more than that is what I heard. But anyway, like one hundred eighty well, to two twenty. Yeah. So and so, no matter what you say about the normal flu, this far out exceeds the normal flu. So, it's going to disappear. Huh? 
just going to disappear. Oh, just going to disappear. It yeah. should have disappeared already. Just, you know, it's just like that. November. April of what year? Yeah. I mean, it's funny that Texas, where Charlie <clears throat> is, uh, we thought it was going to be the end of the week by the time they surpassed New York. On third yeah. Today, they're, what, you're 10,000, 15,000 ahead of us? More, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're just going, We're just taking off. Yeah. Hey, uh, how many deaths in New York, New Jersey uh, uh, did you have as, in comparison to uh, Florida, California? Uh, we had a lot. We had a lot more. But then again, you have to remember when we got it. Oh, you got it. You got it. No, you know? no, 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 Phil. No, come no. on, Phil. It's not that simple. Yeah. We got like, it. No, we got it. When, death approximately. Are we, from we got New it when we didn't know it was around. Right. Look okay. at the seven day average. You know, uh, we, we, you know, there were 23,000 people died in New York State, but that's because the government didn't close Europe and for, 50, for what, a month and a half? No, more than a month and a half, two months after they knew that there was a virus out there. Well, and so we had, we had three million visitors coming into New York from Europe, and that spread it. And we weren't. We didn't know it was spreading until we finally saw it cropping its ugly well, head. So don't give us a bad time about that, you know, Phil. When that Trump, when he closed China, oh, uh, uh, you know, go. everybody yeah. called him every name in the book. So I guess uh, I'll call him every name in the book because he didn't close Europe. Yeah, well, he closed China. He closed, closed China because he wanted to get it. China. Know, he wants to call it the China flu. There are you know, three hundred thousand people that come in. By the time he closed it. And by the yeah, way, he didn't closed. close it to all people from China, by the ah, way. Ah, let's talk about how he closed China. My son is in yeah. China currently, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. He was there in January. He does business in China. He mm -hmm. returned in right uh, about a week after Trump's ban, but because he was an expat, they mm -hmm. let him in. They just gave yeah. him nothing but a temperature check, and he was fine. And he was on a plane full of expats who are all allowed to come in with nothing more than a temperature check. Then yeah. why so did they keep... How reliable Robert, do you think that might why, be? Why did they keep all those people out at sea uh, for a month on those uh, cruise ships? Bill, we're not, again, you're doing the same thing you always do. You're changing the conversation. Well, it's part of the conversation, buddy. No, it's not. Yeah, you know, I mean, if they're, if they're letting the you... equivalent. In, how come the Americans on cruise ships had to, had to sit That's out? That's a little... false equivalency, that Phil. That was Donald Trump. Trump, Trump credit for stuff. You, know, you just well. don't like the debate, Robert. You just don't like the oh. fact that uh, there's facts. No, I don't like the fact that, that don't you support out of your ass. That don't support your uh, position. Yeah, like you What's did last position? night with your Washington it. Post article. Shall we talk about that? No, what is your position? What's the point? I don't get uh, it. Hey, uh, well, the point is he closed down uh, the uh, West Coast, uh, and he closed down travel from China. And uh, if he closed down travel oh, from China, great. it so, meant it was so, for, for New York so, as well. So hmm. because of that, we can just... Uh, Forget all the other bullshit he's done. No, you yeah. can just make up shit. You know that oh, yeah. you called him a xenophobe. You said that yeah. he, uh, you know, he he was closing down China, uh, and uh, you know because of that, uh, you, you got it brown wrong. on your nose. Phil. And you know yeah. what? The same thing uh, is for Schumer and Pelosi and well, all of those people that called comes. him every name in the book. Eric hey, have you heard the story? Yeah, have, believe me, Jared they haven't called him some of the names I have, okay? So. <laughs> have you heard about Jared Kushner's plan that, that uh, yeah. magically vaporized? Yeah. What was that? I, I read Kushner, something. Jared Kushner was on the task force, the coronavirus task force, and he came up with a plan for dealing with it back in March. But they decided that since it was primarily hitting blue states, they didn't need to do anything because it wasn't affecting their people. Didn't yeah. Jared Kushner get the COVID? No. I wish he would, but, you know, not that I've heard. No. His girlfriend, right? Oh, oh yes, that was his girlfriend. Donald, yes. uh, Donald that, that uh, girlfriend. That's it. Yeah. That's, his, that's Donald But Trump. that's what they talked about today. Yeah, they talked about that, that group that he was on had all these things for a playbook, and they just they it's, just it's let it go good. away. They had their own It wasn't playbook. affecting their people. Yeah. Wait a minute, we're back down to a full house, aren't we? Who do we lose? Michael. Oh, Michael. Oh, he'll be... Michael? 
A Charlie. Oh. A Charlie. That's who we lost. Okay. Hey, Alex. He'll be back. What? What was the timeline when they closed down China? March? Uh, no, it closed down China January, yeah, I think the end of January, the middle of January. 26. January 26th. 27th, I believe. Yeah. And they closed uh, the East Coast to Europe in <clears throat> March. March 15th, March 15th, that's what I remember. He kept saying UK was okay. The UK, except for UK. I don't know why he kept saying that. Yeah, and then he well, changed, he then he changed, the, well, he's got, he's got golf courses there. It was based yeah. on the amount of cases. No, it, all, it was based on the amount Back of, then? it was based, it was like based, this. it was How based, based Phil, it, it was a, it was a hot spot, and it was based on the fact that he had uh, uh, golf courses there. Uh, but he finally had to because there were too many people yelling and screaming at him, so he finally had to close that down, too. Uh, but the fact was that uh, he, cl we, you know, we didn't know that all these things were coming in here. And then when they finally hit, we then were the first state that had to actually deal with the disease itself and how to treat it. And uh, we have many treatments today that we didn't have then, and many new ways of handling and it and attacking it that we didn't have then. Uh, and so we lost like 23,000 people because we didn't have all the information we could have. So and didn't have masks, didn't have swabs, didn't have you know all the PPE. Right, right. So, so today during hearings with Fauci, the uh, Clyburn showed him a chart which showed deaths in America as opposed to deaths in Europe, and there was a great disparity on the graph, and Fauci was asked why the difference. And he gave the answer that we didn't take it seriously enough to begin with. Well, three minutes later, Trump came out of the White House, I mean, a tweet came out of the White House that said, we have more cases in America, but of course we have more tests. And now with that in mind, I'm curing breast cancer. We're going to make mammograms illegal. Uh, there you yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> and we can cure, uh, we can cure the, 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 uh, the, that cancer, the cervical cancer by getting rid of pap smears, right? That's or old. getting rid of cervixes. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. No more scales and kind. We will not be nope. obese. That's there you right. go. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, right, hey, Brian. When yes. did they? When did you start working on a uh, COVID? Uh, uh, February tenth. February tenth, and it came out March seventeenth, I think. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that your all's in the White House? Fast for us. Is that your all's tests they're using in the White House, Brian? I no, not, they're using the Abbott. I don't think so. Right. Because uh, I heard on the we already have our people. systems out there for people. Like some military had them already, but the thing they talked about today was like getting them into nursing homes. So our stuff is clear wave. So clear wave means that anybody can be able to operate this because our system is so easy. Where you're just breaking off the tap and putting it in. Nice. So that's another big advantage for us that they're starting to talk about. So yeah, because all of our sample prep is inside that cartridge. There's no chemicals people have to mix up. My wife has a family member who went to visit her mother who was in the hospital for something other than COVID, and she just turned 102 this summer. She took a coronavirus test before she left her home in Alexandria, Virginia, and she didn't get the results back until 14 days later after she was back home. Yeah. Worthless. It's, it's worthless is right. Back home. Wow. Yeah, they're, <clears throat> they're talking about point of care stuff again. The same conversations they had back in March. And I don't know how this stuff got away from everybody. But anybody who wants a test can have a test. The CDC exactly. guy said Talk that there it. are some tests that were taking 14 to 16 days, but there was other tests that were three days and five days. Even that still, that's ridiculous. Results. Worthless. He, yeah. These were just uh, labs. They weren't uh, 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 facilities where uh, they are on site. They, they well, you were, see, the reason, uh, the thing is, and tonight Cuomo said that he is, uh, uh, he, he where do you say he wrote an article? Maybe it's in the New York Times about the fact that what we did here in New York State is we changed uh, the way in which we did the lab tests. We used local, only local labs right. to do the uh, testing. And so therefore we got the results back faster. 
The fact is these other uh, states are using national labs and they're even being sent to Georgia if they're in Texas, you know, to get the results. Uh, he said, you've got to set up a, a, a system whereby the local labs do it. Gee, your, I wonder yeah, where that yeah. came from. Well, they've done, what, 80 million tests now, and uh, not all of them are sent to labs. Many of them are done uh, locally. Well, most of them don't get there because the post office is incapable of sending mail. Yeah. <laughs> because the postmaster general is, guess what? He was, really he, friend, he, was right. he was the largest single contributor to Trump, I believe, yes. the Postmaster General. That's how he got his job. He bought it. And um, he, uh, he supposedly has been slowing down the mail. Yes. And uh, then Patty. all of a sudden yeah. you got Boss the president Patty. complaining about how's the mail system going to be able to handle all this mail. And he's setting up the scenario for mm -hmm. uh, for uh, I don't care if he loses two to mm -hmm. one, he's still going to claim it was rigged. Yep. Yeah. And we're going to be in a real. He says uh, we're going to be in a real mess after the election. And I went, yeah, we're going to be in a real mess because you're going to start complaining about it. He'll be there the first five, president who will not leave quietly. Yeah. There are five states right now that only use mail-in ballots, and they've had no problems. Right, right. Um, they've been uh, now. Um, uh, uh, hold on a second, uh, Josh, because you're here and you wrote me about this. Uh, talk constitutionally about uh, being able to prevent the election from taking place, as Trump suggested yesterday. Well, first of all, he he doesn't have the power to make that happen anyway. I, I don't. I'm not saying that he said that he did, but even if he, he can wish it and it's not going to be so, he doesn't have the power. Mm -hmm. But I don't really think that he wants to delay it anyway. He, he doesn't want to delay it. He wants it to be held when it's supposed to be held. He wants to say, he wants to then use that as an excuse. I mean, you know, see, it, it should have been delayed. You didn't give me what I wanted. I mean, he, he, you know, so, but he can't stop it from being... Held only only Congress can stop it. Well, I want I want to know. And, yeah, yeah. Well, well, go, no, go ahead. No, what I was going to say, Phil, maybe Phil could answer this. Uh, how is it that it supposedly will benefit the Democrats, the mail-in votes, but it's not going to benefit the Republicans? I I think that if it doesn't work, it doesn't work for both parties. It doesn't work for everybody. I think there's just the chance of voter fraud, whether it benefits yeah. one or the other. You know, our our elections Phil, have always been. We've had clean. voter fraud forever. You know, you know, our elections are looked at all over the world as uh, honest. Oh, as, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Why, why do they really? Why does Jimmy look at Carter, that look on Robert's face? It's stunned. Well, he always has that look. You know, he's from New Jersey. He's constipated. But, uh, you know, the the thing is, uh, why do they send Jimmy Carter to a lot of, yeah, <laughs> what uh, why do they send Jimmy Carter to all these countries uh, <laughs> to oversee the elections? Because we we have honest elections and the Russians and the Chinese want to uh, uh, co uh, create discord that will make the American people think that our elections aren't legitimate. They, elect, and, they got us and, to elect. And that's what they're doing. And you're all falling into the trap that the Russians and Chinese are setting for you. By and the way, Trump Big Shot, agent. your article last night in the Washington Post, if only you'd read it, but of course Republicans don't read, if only you'd read it, the gist of the article was that voter fraud is largely disproven and that Trump's case is nothing but him trying to stir up the idea that there's voter fraud. Oh, Robert, if you'd listen to what I was saying, uh, the reason I presented that article was because Patterson, New Jersey. Yeah, read the article, shithead. It yeah. said that they were <laughs> caught. Therefore, it made it far less likely that voter fraud actually worked. You asked me where there was voter fraud. No, I, I didn't. I didn't ask I you anything. You... I make it a point not to ask you anything. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. you, and, and I gave you the example. <laughs> and I read the city. article. You, and yeah, as okay, usual, I'm you glad, parsed I'm out glad, shit that wasn't I'm glad there. the public schools were good to you and you were able to read it. But the bottom line is, Republicans I said, don't that, read, I said so. in, in Patterson, RDR. New Jersey, uh, Read the article, it. shithead. It doesn't say that at all. Uh, you're a fucking Diamond, man. can you make me some popcorn? Hey, hey. Uh, by the way, those 3,000 votes, <laughs> 3, votes that were allegedly um, fraudulent, they weren't fraudulent. They were thrown out for make me some popcorn. technical reasons. The all fraudulent right. ones were <laughs> by two, get a beer two while you're Republican <laughs> council members that were cheating. And they there, were, there was only like... Ten ballots that they were they got caught with. The other three thousand were just rejected for you know bad signatures or you know mail in ballots. <laughs> just because they they're mailed fraud. in doesn't mean they're counted. Uh, they weren't Bill. counted because they, yeah, were, they, were, they were they were they were fraudulent. They were they were so defective. They, yeah. Why is it? Why is it Republicans like to scream about uh, potential voter fraud, but they never say anything about election fraud, such as disenfranchising people? Such as yeah. wiping people off the voter rolls illegally. Yeah, closing down. Uh, like, uh, uh, that's a what about is I'm just like Robert hates. He says he doesn't like this. I uh, never said that subject. Uh, now you're pulling shit out of your ass again, as uh, usual. I've closing, never said voting, that. Voting, voting yes, <laughs> well, I mean, loser. I don't, I don't know Phil's take on it because I didn't hear last night if you talked about it. But. Yeah. I mean, the whole point of this is really being missed, arguing over the what could happen or might happen or voter fraud or whatever. It's all secondary. I mean, what everyone should be upset about is the fact mm -hmm. that a sitting president of the United States has openly suggested strongly in multiple ways that the reelection of himself should just be, we, we, sh we shouldn't do it. We should just wait. Just, yeah. just, just let me stay here, and until things are good, and in the sentences before that, he was running around telling everybody how great everything is. The economy is coming back. We got to open America back up. You got to go back to work. We got to play sports. We got to get all these things open up. Americans need to return to every single day-to-day -day activity that they have done every day of their life, except one thing, and that's vote. <laughs> you can't do that. You can't have any voting. That's but you need to go to work. You need to go to church. Saying, Phil, what what you should go everywhere. You need to do everything. everything but he's implying that, vote. Phil. You it's don't want to hear it. That's what he's I heard him say he wants the election to happen on time. Uh, I heard I heard him yeah. say in front of the camera the and, and the microphone say it. that he wants the he election. He talks out of both sides of his mouth, <laughs> Phil. There you in the go. one breath, he says, I want it to happen. And on the other, he says, maybe we should delay this. Thing. Right, right. I mean, are, are you, Phil, are you comfortable with saying we're not going to have an election November 4th? Or I'm November comfortable 4th? with the fact that there will not be any mail, mass mail-in no, voting. I mean, let's not, I, I don't care. If everyone goes and stands in line, right. are you, I mean, are you, now that he said he wants to delay it, are you, you do you want to delay it? Well, that's because not, weeks I've ago heard. you were on this program multiple times saying, oh, I know what's going to happen in a few weeks. All you fucking yellow bellied libs are going to want to delay that election. You're, you're they are going to want to shut it down. And now none of them have said that. The only person in America I don't that has that walked to all. a microphone I don't and remember. said, I, I want to delay the election. Josh, is I don't Trump. remember that at all. I mean, uh, that's that's you know, the only person it never occurred that to me to delay the election. I want to delay the election. So I'm just asking you, do you want to have it on November 4th or do you want to wait? November 3rd. Absolutely. Well, whichever day. November 3rd. I can't remember. Yeah, I, think, I think it's November 3rd. If I'm not yes. Yeah. You know, I, I want it to proceed as normal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, so are you not upset that he's acting as if, I mean, he's not. This isn't casual conversation. I mean, it's he has suggested he wants to delay the election indefinitely. Well, but I, you know, uh, I mean, Josh, you Josh, 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 don't you think, Josh, don't you think that one of the reasons he's inferring this is because he has loser's breath right now, and he yeah. knows that if he loses, he's got to have some kind of reason to say he actually won. 
Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, Sorry, it's, it's certainly a calculated move to build in an excuse mm -hmm. if he loses mm -hmm. to contest it or to stir up enough enough trouble. Uh, down, mean, yeah. There's no uh, doubt. Charlie has his hand up. Charlie? Yeah, that's because Donald Trump is too stupid to realize that if we don't have an election, he doesn't get to stay president forever. He gets to stay president till January 20th. If there's a no election, then Nancy Pelosi becomes president. That's right. Yeah. He's okay, too let's, stupid let's to hold realize up the election. That. That's the only reason he suggests that, because he thinks he gets to stay in power until we have an election. He's yeah, never he can, you know, and, and he was talking yesterday about the fact that this is going to be a whole holy mess. It's going to be terrible because uh, it's going to hold off the election, and we won't get the results that night. You know, and I like sitting there with my popcorn. Yes, yeah, Kevin's got his popcorn. I mean, uh, and and um, I want to watch the results. I'm sorry, but tell me about this with Gore v. Bush. When was that one settled? When was that election night settled? Remember, Ten I mean, days? Later. No, Remember. no, it was it, it was we were well Remember. into January, weren't we? No, before the Supreme no. before the Supreme Court made its decision. Yeah, it was that December. Early, I think it went. It was early January. The early January. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's vote now. Yeah, it was it. So let's now. vote now. We'll have the results by November. Yeah, well, suppose it continues. He'd like to see the he'd like to see the vote moved up. Suppose he continues to bitch and whine and scream about the whole conspiracy about the election being all fucked up, and then he wins. What happens then? He contested it. Sixteen. He was already yeah, exactly. saying it. He was 16. saying it was in sixteen. Well, yeah, but you know, this is this yeah. is worse now. We've had four years of the bastard. Now he's going to sit yeah. there and bitch and whine. Oh, it's all big. It's all big. The big what he's blowout. Choosing, is, you know, there's, it's all fixed. It's all screwed up. What he's up. choosing to ignore and also and is that in 2016, 23.8 percent of the ballots were mail-in ballots. Yeah. Right, but he didn't. He didn't think he was going to win. This time, he, he, mm. he, you know, he's considering it that it's going to be fixed. He said, "Okay, he says it's fixed on November first. It's the same as mail-in. There is no the difference and between absentee no difference. ballots and mail-in yeah. ballots. They're it's exactly no the fucking different. same ballots thing." Are are uh, more regulated than the mail? No, they're not. Okay. Right. No, they're not. They're, they're, they're not. not. They're, they're, no, same they're process. Not. I work the polls. They're the same Exactly the same thing. It's exactly the same piece of it's paper. It's a different box you check. Mail it out to everybody. Every Tom, Dick, and Harry gets a ballot. Nobody's going to do that, Bill. Hey, mail it out in the text. wrong hands. Donald. Nobody's going to do that, ask. Bill. He's just trying to scare people. Donald, I work the polls. They're the same freaking things. You check a box. By the way, all, all mail-in ballots have a barcode, and you have to sign them, and your signature is on record. And so, it's checked. What? They're and checked. checked. Yes. They're checked. And they are checked. Yes. They are checked. Mm -hmm. And, and if the signatures don't the match, then that ballot gets it. rejected. And you get a phone uh, call. I don't I don't get it. Five minutes ago he told us we had the most honest and fair elections in the history of the world. <laughs> That's why I, mean, I, I just I get confused. I'm, I'm serious. Okay, then you're confused. I mean, it must be that uh, you don't realize that the mail in ballots, the mass mail in ballots are not the same. As the there's no uh, such thing, Phil. Oh, so they have two different there's ballots. No now. such thing as mass mail-in ballots. Go read the article from the Post Trump again. Right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. What? what, what first of all, uh, who had his hand up? Somebody had his hand up and wanted to talk. I yes, did. John, and then uh, Robert. Not, not this kind of off topic, but the, the news they said today that he has put a halt on uh, advertised spending, and uh, there's a saying in the real estate business. Uh, don't throw good money at bad money. So I, I think he's pretty much knows what's going on, and he's pro he's probably saying let's not waste our money on fucking ads. You know, let's uh, let's take this money and you know, I don't know, stick it in a Russian fucking pay, pay family members to be yeah, yeah. <laughs> put it in a m Russian money launder laundering. Thing. Doesn't he get to keep whatever he doesn't spend? I don't think so. No, mm -hmm. personally, no. 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 Okay. But, but he well, got I, I, well, I, I thought he was so rich he, he didn't need to raise money. 
if he pays his daughter-in-laws to be consultants, then then they get to keep it. Like mm. Elon Omar gave six hundred thousand to her husband in the last couple of weeks. Hey, uh, wait, 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 wait. What does she 14. have to do with any of this, Phil? Uh, he says he's paying his daughter. What? No, wait, wait, wait. What does it's this have to do with any of what we're discussing? That's a what about? It has a lot to do with no, it. No, uh, it, it's a what aboutism, and and uh, no, it has no, to do with no, with no, another no, politician altogether. And if you want to whole, talk about our other whole politicians. liberal crew here is 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 one big what about is wait a well. minute wait a minute no, I mean, this first, isn't well, wait hold on a second I mean, hold on a second wait a minute this isn't a whole liberal crew yeah, right. down at the I'm bottom a, here we have Patrick who just called right Patrick there. is not a liberal I'm a I mean but, but Republican. I'm not I'm not going to sail on that boat with the, these people I mean you know what's her name up there in Minnesota uh, I mean she's a fucking idiot okay I get tired of hearing her fucking shit too. So I'm not going to be lumped in with that poor shit because that's exactly what it is. I mean, well, look, Vernon you know said, that I have treated you respectfully. I've never called you a name. I didn't say anything to you. I, I, I know you didn't. I'm just I'm making a point. That's all. That's what I'm saying. That's the problem here is you have to let people finish a goddamn sentence. OK, sometimes no, when you talk, there's a comma there, not a period. Mm -hmm. And the sentence goes on for a little while. You, you have to let people Finish what they're saying before you start talking back to them so that you could get the full point of what they're saying. I'm not going to be lumped in Gosh, with that. I did. Concept. I was answering Vernon. I no, thought you were I getting mean, paid by Alex anyway, Phil. What? I thought you. I think you're getting paid by Alex anyway to be the uh, – because if you weren't here, <laughs> we'd have – hey, Well, you know, I'll tell you. I'll there tell you. Is, you uh, no, uh, hold on a second. Phil, paid. Phil, take a breath. Um, Patrick who I like to say is down at the bottom, uh, is, uh, he's a bottom, uh, <laughs> is down at the bottom, uh, is, is, a, is, is not a, a liberal. If I called him one, he would yell at me. Uh, and, uh, but I don't think you see what, but you don't like what Trump does, right? For the most part, no. Yeah. So, you know. And there are a lot of Republicans now are getting to feel that way, too. You know, there are a lot of Republicans starting to Mitch. turn on him. Even Mitch has said, hey, this whole thing about the elections, come on, lay off. He also on that. he also told all the Senate the who are struggling in their districts to get reelected to dip, distance yourself from the president if you need to to win. Did he say that? Yeah. Hmm. Take a look at uh, CNN.com. Yeah. Well, of course. Yeah. Phil will call it fake news. Anything's fake news unless it, it doesn't benefit his uh his argument and yeah. if it's fox news you say it's fake also no i i watch fox Look, and I, there are I, I, there occasionally are things that are quoted occasionally they're telling the truth like those there, ads for the dollars the silver dollars i think there are things that are said that you can't fake you could fake commentary you can like you do phil you have a way of saying well you got to count all the numbers well that's not the way it works phil because the first few weeks of the pandemic a, nobody knew how serious it was going to be. B, no one knew how to really treat it. And no C, tests. we weren't prepared with tests. We weren't prepared with PPE. We weren't prepared with a lot of things. So you could spin your details. But a fact of what somebody wrote or what somebody said, is it's kind of hard to, to lie about that. And that's why Trump says shit all the time, which is you can say the liberal media spins it, they may talk about it more because Howard. it's outrageous, but he says what he says. And that's what supposedly I didn't read the article completely, but that's what it's it says. He told them hmm. not a spin. Howard. Yes. Howard. Hey, Alex. Yes, I, Howard. I, I Howard. Wait a minute. Let Howard talk. <laughs> and don't use that background. Howard. Well, I got Mr. John, he accused me of getting paid by Gabnet. And so oh, I. Yeah, uh, yeah, I okay. stuck All right. All right. Get rid Two dollar bills. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, so uh, you, you could, watched, because uh, Howard can do it because he has an actual green screen. I got one too. I just haven't used. Well, it. then use it because that looks terrible. Yes, uh, yes, Howard. I uh, I went to a realtor conference today, but anyways, they had this guy by the name of Doctor Chan, a chief economist. He was on TV yesterday on national TV, but he mm -hmm. came up with an idea to kind of like help the economy. Mm -hmm. And here's his idea. First, we need a vaccination. Yeah. And then he wants to basically have the government pay everybody who gets vaccinated a thousand bucks, at least the people that are 
um, poverty or, or lower income levels because those are the ones that are not getting health care. Mm -hmm. And and so that's the incentive is you get a thousand bucks every time you get a for everyone who gets a vaccine. Well, you know, the thing is that everybody's going to have to get two vaccine shots. They yeah, say that most of these vaccines, you're going to have to have two of them. So have have that'd be two grand right there. Well, the vaccine, well, the vaccine also, when it comes out, only has to be 51% effective. Yeah. That's what the government says. Yeah, well, well we'd, be, we'd be happy with 10% effective. Aren't there this six point. companies making vaccines now or getting ready to make the vaccine? They're getting money Phase from the government three. to make them. The companies Johnson are being paid to produce them. They haven't necessarily developed them. Johnson no. & Johnson says theirs might only be a one-shot deal. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. Uh, uh, not a two-shot vaccine. Possibly. Uh, shot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you know, but it, it, <clears throat> let's not get ahead I'll of ourselves. <clears throat> let's not get ahead of He's, ourselves because even Fauci says best estimates are first of the year. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you know. Hey, at a thousand the vaccine, I'll get one every week. Yeah. Yeah. They still need the testing. Working You still need the testing. And, they got to manufacture it. That takes and a you know something? What we've got to watch out for is it's going to happen again. And we have to be ready for the next pandemic. We can't. Yeah. We, we, we have to learn by this lesson. And we haven't learned by past lessons. I mean, we had the H1N1. We had the Hong Kong flu. What else did we have out there? Ebola. 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 Zika. What? Yeah. Everything. Yeah. What, what, what is that, Howard? I just got fresh sourdough french bread oh. delivered to my house oh oh god oh, oh. But it's here, Serene. i want to smell it does it taste different uh when it's uh, uh there instead of san it francisco? looks like it was sent to him from san francisco because that looks like a san francisco loaf to me mm -hmm. i made friends with somebody who makes fresh french bread he just baked it and just rang the doorbell and delivered oh yes. really does he just make it in hawaii though makes it right here in maui really really oh. yeah does he have the sourdough yeast, you know? Cause He's that, got the sourdough that yeast, starter he that, has to keep alive That yeast alive is day. hundreds of years old. Don't know the age. Well, no, it what happens is they, 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 the yeast they use, they take a little bit of the yeast, they put the pot, mm -hmm. put it back in the pot, and then when they're, it's in the pot, the yeast, because it's bacteria or something, multiplies and keeps Flour growing. And the pot is always filled with yeast. It's no flour matter, and water. Yeah, but Alex, Parisian flour bread. And water. But no matter how much they take, no, the yeast that goes in there to give it the sourdough taste and so on. Well, it, once you once you process it, yeah. Yeah, it comes from a sourdough, sourdough pot. From, my sourdough is from the Oregon Trail. Is it really? Yep. Yeah, it goes back that far. Yeah. 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 How, where, how, can you, the there, like, how, how do you prove that? How do you trace that back hey you just go with what the person well no what happened it was it was a bread that was developed during the gold rush because what you could do is you could have a pot a yeast pot and then the yeast in the pot was there and then you used it to help make the bread and as you used it you put the top on the yeast container and it would simply you know keep growing so that when you open it up again you, you know it was filled and so you never ran out of the yeast. So that same yeast is the same yeast that's being used to this day in making San Francisco sourdough French bread. Is that where the Jews went wrong with matzah? Yes. <laughs> it was unleavened. Yeah. And it tastes that way, too, I might add. You know. Uh, yes, uh, Robert. Did you wave your hand? Oh, I, I saw I you waving your hand. I thought you wanted Oh, you're doing your Groucho Marx impression. Um, uh, so anyway, so that, that was what was happening today. That and the fact that the Postmaster General has been holding back funds so the mail is going slower, so they can make more of a case for the mail-in ballots, against the mail-in ballots. And uh, what was the other thing that happened today? There was one other thing that happened today, and I don't know uh, what, I'm trying to remember what it was. I guess oh, I was Jim just going to say. Jim Jordan tried to beat up Fauci. Oh yeah, Jim Jordan, what a Freaking piece of work that asshole. Yes. Yeah. Here's Ray Renati, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I mean, this goes way beyond jackpot. This is like... Uh, Super duper jackpot. This is 15 people, is it? Yeah, 15. Wow. Uh, I guess all I want to say... Ballot to already. Out, I mean, mm. mail-in ballots or not, 
I, I don't care if everybody, you know, if you got to go to fucking Lowe's and buy a Tyvek suit and fucking wear fucking three of them and stand in line for six hours to fucking vote. If you want this shit to be over with, that's what you're going to have to do. I mean, yeah. fucking yeah. disease or not, uh, you know, I mean, or this shit's going to fucking continue because I think I'm a bit more unnerved than most people over that because I'm just telling you that if I ask Phil, hey, the president says he wants to delay the election. What do you think about that? Well, I didn't really agree with it, you know, eh, you know, but if that same scenario had been Barack Obama and I'd ask that question, mm-hmm. it, it'd just be, oh, you can you believe it? Just, just, he, wants to, he just wants to stay about I mean, it would just go, I mean, Ten minutes. There, there was an op-ed in the Washington Post entitled, Trump's call to delay the election is the most anti-democratic move by a president in American history, and it's hard to disagree with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is the most anti-democratic thing that yeah. a president of the United States could ever say, which is, I don't think we should have an election. I should just stay. You know, I, I wish mean, I, it is the antithesis yeah. of Washington saying, I have served long enough. Find someone else. I mean, I don't know about you, Josh, and I'm, but I'm sure you'll agree with me. I would just love to have a full on election cycle, you know, without all of this and with the debates and the, with the conventions and all of that. But I'm sorry, something happened here and we have to adapt to it in order to save our lives. And that's it, plain and simple. You know, you can't do much more than that. Um, uh, I mean, I would love to see, uh, I mean, the debates we're going to have between Trump and, and how are they going to do those? Are they going to be in the same room together? Are they going to no, be? They don't have to be. I mean, I they've been doing everything on television using Zoom or whatever they do. They don't, they don't need to be in the same room. Do you think, that, do you, th- you think they are going to debate? Oh, they're right. supposed to. Yeah, they're supposed to have one up here in Cleveland and Zoom. Yeah, not that long from now. It, it's what? Case Western Reserve at the probably up there. Yeah. They have a big law school and stuff up there. I'm sure they'll have something to do with it. Let me. I, I mean, I'm just. I mean, mil- with mil- you, Josh. Uh, hundreds of millions of Americans saying. have to go to work every day. Those two motherfuckers can stand in the same room ten feet apart for fucking two hours. <laughs> we haven't heard a word from uh, from uh, from uh, Tony. Hello, Tony. How you doing? Yeah. Nobody decried. Nobody decried that uh, you shouldn't go out and protest in the street, but we can't vote. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? What? What, Tony? Yeah, I was saying I'm more of an independent voter because last time I voted third party, Mm -hmm. so I really don't have an allegiance to either side to say the truth. Oh, so you're the reason why Trump is president. Well, like you said, Alex, my vote doesn't matter in New York. Well, right? you're right. It really doesn't, you know. And I wanted to vote third party. I figured, you know what? I wasn't thrilled with either one of them at the time. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I never thought he would win anyway, to tell you the truth. That day, I was still, I was, I was working the polls by my area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and when he, when they were coming up at the end with the, with yeah. the TV, like he was winning, I walked home. I was in shock. My brother called me. He says, he's going to win this thing. You know what my brother told me? He still swears it was rigged. Hmm. I'm, I, I, you know, I, I could yell and scream that too, but then I'd be acting like Trump. I mean, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to. I agree. Him, but I was still yeah. shocked that he won. Well, he kept saying that. Uh, you know, he kept thinking he was going to lose, so he said the whole thing is rigged. The whole thing is rigged, and he won. <laughs> and if we believe it was rigged. You were right. You told us it was. Well, you didn't know. the first part of the Mueller report show that it was rigged by yeah. the Russians? Yeah. 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 Sure. What is that behind you? Oh, are you doing one of those? The Russians influenced back it, but screen. the Russians didn't actually yeah. change any votes. I'll get rid of it. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, like let's see what your messy room looks like. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's so much nicer. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know what? I'm going to tell you something, though. And Josh makes a good point, though. A lot of people just complain, but they don't vote. Well, you know, I mean, I, the, 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 you don't vote, and you don't have nothing to say. My biggest fear uh, in in this whole thing is that uh, it's it's going to be a clusterfuck because Trump is going to make it so. He, he is not going to take losing gracefully, and it looks pretty. It looks good that he's going to lose. I Most don't. of the polls are saying now that even the states that he once had are not with him, and it's because I think they've tired of the act. That's really what it's all about. 
And, and so I think he's, he's not only lost the confidence of the public, but he's lost the entertainment value as well. And uh, I mean, Rob's camp, Alex. I wouldn't get too confident. No, don't get confident. We. Hey, I don't really. I don't want to sound like Trump, but I am not buying into those actual polls, as you think. I think what's going to happen is, I think, for instance, the black vote wasn't didn't get out for Hillary. I think the black vote is going to get out for Biden. Uh, would you agree with that, Charlie? I ask you as the official yeah. black guy in the crowd. Charlie, uh, so, do you think the the Obama that's helping Biden out is going to help some of that black vote, or do you think it's already there? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I think Biden engenders a great deal of confidence in the black community. They like him, you know. Um, uh, they don't, uh, you know. Trump. The trouble is, I say again, you know, people are tired of the Trump Act. That's really what it's all about. It's just been exhausting. I mean, he has been dominating the news every day for the entire time he's been president. You know, uh, and you're saying, well, he's president. Of course he would dominate the news. No, Obama didn't dominate the news every goddamn day. He sometimes went a week or two without you really hearing much about him. Well, you would like to think that for as much as the Republican Party, you know, runs around with this patriotic garment on talking about how great Americans are and America is and it's great 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 maybe some people have started to say okay in all of this great country of 360 million people or whatever it is maybe we could find one person who could get us all the things that we wanted policy wise that he stands for but try to go about doing it without the circus being attached there's got to be at least and 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 maybe we could find that guy in a few years from now or gal it's too late now because we let it go and we're in the 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 hunt now and it's decided that these are the two guys but you know we we've fucked up so we have to swallow this now and we have to sit here for four years and we have to start looking for that person who can pursue these policies as dangerous as people like you and i might think they are but that's what they want, and maybe we can find someone with some integrity and who can do it with a little bit of professionalism so that we cannot get that power, uh, you know, through this circus act because it wears people out and it'll just go away. Let's go back to our old tactics where we can fucking, you know, try to make it a long-lasting thing. Rob had his hand up. Yes, Rob. Never mind. What do you mean, never mind? What were you going to say? Not important. I, I, I yeah. changed my mind. Let me that. ask you all a question. I, I really, you know, every time I watch these congressional hearings, I get upset. Do you get upset, Robert? I know you watch yes. them. Did you watch yes. them today? I get yes. upset not because it's like, why the hell do they hold them? You know? I mean, nothing ever gets done at those things. Uh, I mean, all I heard today were when the Republicans got up, you had guys like Jordan. Jordan is a piece of fucking work, man. And all he went for t f his five minutes going against, uh, why don't we get to go to pray in churches? And I mean, he did every, talked about everything. The Portland riots, well, they were there oh, to no, talk no. about the coronavirus, not about the Portland riots. But this wasn't, this was him, at, he was the worst offender in all of this but everybody everybody had an axe to grind and i don't i didn't think that's what this hearing was about it was to get information to ask these people why and instead everybody's like uh, posing you know yeah, they kept drilling them uh, on what? are rioters okay are rioters okay to be doing that he asked that question over and over and over again. Ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, Somebody Jeff? should ask him about those young wrestlers that got buggered under his watch. Yeah. yeah well, uh, 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 yes, uh, Jeff, did you want to say something? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Robert. Robert? Yeah. Robert. The thing I miss, I'm not a, I'm not a registered anything. I, I, I don't feel the need to belong to a team politically, but I do lean left. I'll admit that out loud. You know mm -hmm. what I miss the most? I miss the most having a friendly political debate with a Republican. Mm -hmm. I can't find one anymore. Mm -hmm. What I find are people that have to, within the first five minutes, 
call me a leftist, a Marxist, a communist, a this, a that. Tell me that, you know, we'll destroy America, that all of us are anarchists, that, you know, it's just simply illogical that the largest block of voters in America all for all these years want to tear down the country. Couldn't it be that we both have just different ways of looking at it, but that we're all in our own way, patriotic? Well, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, the guy you would love to argue with sometime is Patrick, because Patrick is always very decent about it. I don't think, yes. Patrick, you've ever called me a communist because of my feelings or demeaned my opinion. You just simply went, hey, I disagree with that. And then you gave your basically right wing opinion. OK, um, uh, he, uh, so it does. It happens here with Patrick. Now, with Phil, it's another story who has his hand up right now. Go, Phil. I heard a uh, survey <laughs> uh, that uh, is interesting what Robert said, but I, I, I heard a survey that 63 percent of uh, of Republicans and Democrats don't have a Republican friend. So, for instance, uh, 63% of Democrats don't, don't, uh, don't, can't say that they have a Republican friend and, and vice versa. The Republicans are the same way. Uh, so there's a lot of division. And, you know, and here, Alex uh, doesn't pay me to do this, but what it does is uh, it has me uh, at least giving a voice to the other side, no matter how radical you may think it is. And uh, so, you know, you, what we're doing here is is uh, no. contrary to what the majority of Americans are doing. No, it's not. Uh, uh, what, what, what you say? What, 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 get to you in a second, Tony. No, it's tone. not, Bill. You, I mean, look, I'll, I'll tone it down. But you start from the standpoint that all Democrats are shit. That's why I asked you the question last week about weren't there any in your entire life Democrats that you admired? I've never voted Republican in my life, but I could make a list as long as my left arm of Republicans that I disagreed with, but that I admired. And you can't do that. And to me, what that does is it just delegitimizes your opinions. Oh, I, I, I don't agree with that. I, I don't, I, you know, I don't agree with that. But all I stated was is that the majority of Americans don't have friends that are across party. Not and, talking about now. I'm talking about you in the overall, Phil. You constantly, matter. constantly make the comments that Democrats are all communists hey, or yeah, anarchists. Well, maybe they are, but you know the thing is, I'm and here. I'm here, and I'm having a conversation uh, that uh, most people aren't having. What's maybe the they are? Maybe they are communists. Are you serious, Phil? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I don't know. You know me better than that. I know, but you Listen, do say it a lot. I, I, I've, I've known Phil for how long, Phil? Or at least he says I've known him that long. How long, Phil? Well, originally we met in 1973. Okay. So that's more years than we want to count. I, uh, I remember when the uh, Republican Party the was anti-communist Russian communism. Right. Now they're pro-Russian, but it's not right. communism anymore. Now it's... Uh, fascism or I don't think they're pro Russian and neither is Putinism. Trump. Oh, shit. Phil, Come Phil, on. Phil, let me let me just say this. <laughs> you know, I don't think Trump is a right winger. I don't think Trump is a conservative. I don't think he is a Republican. Mm -hmm. I don't think he engenders any of the the things that uh, are are admirable about those various ideologies. He is, however, a totally incompetent person who should have never been made president of the United States because the only reason he wanted to be president of the United States, God knows what financial reasons he wanted. It was probably to get out of some problems that were coming down his back. But he didn't, you know, being president wasn't something that he was very, has been very good at. And uh, he and he has no guiding principles, so that's why he's had trouble with the office. I mean, I may not have agreed with Bush, but he had guiding principles, right. you know, and he that's respected right. the job he had. 
That's right. And I don't think rip Trump apart, re respects the job he has, and I don't think he has any guiding principles, because I think his, in his entire life he's never learned to have any. Right. I think you made all of that up, and it's very back to nothing. <laughs> I made it all up. Have I made it all uh, up? It's not based in, in fact. Well, it's based on observation. It's based Phil. on observation, Phil. Your observation. It walks is, like a duck and it talks like a duck. It must be a duck. Yeah. Well, this this is a man that kept us out of wars that we would have been in if he lo if it looks in like a, if it looks or, like if it looks opinion, opinion too. There's if it no looks, way to prove that. If it no looks facts. like a duck and it right. like so, a, wait, but Phil. Alex, if it looks like so, hey, Phil. If it looks like a fuck and it walks like a fuck, it must be a fuck. But that, that's exactly, it's your opinion, and that's all it is. No, it's my observation. Well, he gives what? us enough Rob material Ray, every day. It's, so it's what did you say, it's Ray? A very valid observ well, observation. Well, Trump gives us the material via Twitter and on TV, right. and you don't even really have to make any conjectures. I mean, he gives it to you. You could be I mean, a 16-year-old in the middle of bumfuck, and if you say something about Trump on Twitter, he's going to respond it to you. The fucking president of the United States. He's that much of a narcissist. Yeah. Isn't that great? I mean, Did what he, was all that crap about, about, the little about people? I don't understand why they why they love Fauci, but they don't like me. They don't love me. They don't yeah. love me. A lot of people think Fauci's a fraud. Oh uh, God. You no, know, yeah. I like Fauci. Stupid. Uh, and I was glad that he got many, many people think Fauci is a fraud. fraud. Many, many, people. many, many, many people. <laughs> He's a fraud and it's beautiful. People are He's saying a very beautiful fraud. He's a beautiful fraud. fraud. I hear. <clears throat> you know, there's a meme. There's a meme there that shows Fauci and it says, "Yeah, I." And it shows like his history of all of his work. It says, "I did all this just so in 2020 I could fake out rednecks to wear masks." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all his yeah. history of all the people who he served under. He yeah. did all yeah. that stuff just to make rednecks and wear masks. Was, and he was good enough for every one of them. Right. Yeah. When Everyone he served under, they all kept yeah. him, Republican right. and Democrat. Wow. When yeah. Trump got elected, he did, uh, be, be, you know, after, from November till January before he actually got sworn in, he did uh, four or five uh, rallies when he should have been fucking, you know, preparing, you know, the whole his government, what he was going to do. He, he, he wasn't there to govern. He was just there to be a fucking show horse. That was, exactly. That's all he is. He's a fucking stupid, lame show horse. Trump wanted to own an NFL team. They didn't like him. They wouldn't have him. And ever since that time, he's, in he's been, he's he been trying court. to show how special he is. He's never liked the NFL since he wanted the generals to merge with you. And what did he do? He took him to court and he won $1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, you know something? Uh, we have, what, 15 people here. This is the most we've ever had at one time. And because of Zoom, it's not huffing and puffing very heavily either. Uh, you know, it's not a strain on the system. But I used to have a studio audience, and I've never heard applause in a while. So would everybody applaud at the same time? I'd like to hear you applaud. <laughs> wow, that's, that's true. That's a, that, that, thank you very much, ladies and you gotta gentlemen. You got to get that piped in. Huh? You got to get it piped in. I, yeah. I actually have a sound effect with applause. No, 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 no. These people <laughs> applauding was really nice. Yes, Ray. I just want to, so even before Trump became president, do you remember? We don't have time the for birther, The birther movement. Yeah. Okay, yeah. remember that? Yeah. Central Park Five, all this yeah. crap. I mean, the guy was out of his gourd before he even ran. Yeah. I mean, he, he was doing it before, you know, yeah. the idiocy. But They're still guilty, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. still are. Hey, let, oh, here we go. You just have to. <laughs> you have to first, you show us your overly handsome. You show us your overly handsome son. And now Isn't you show us your overly adorable daughter. Hi, right Adrian. How are right you? there is yeah. a great reason uh, to save this world. Huh? Right there yeah. is a great reason why we have to save this world. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Damn hey, right. listen. You there's the, there's, there's our theme. There, there's our theme. Uh, Howard, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Ro Robert. I keep wanting to call you Bob. Jeff. Uh, Josh. Uh, John Larkin. Uh, and Brian. And Jennifer. And Adrian. 
and Vernon Nunn and uh, uh, Tony and Charlie and Kevin oh, and God. and and Patrick and and Ray. Hey, this is I think maybe the largest panel we've had ever. Anyway, what I want you to do, however, is give a big wave at the end of the show. Yeah, big bravo! bravo! Yeah, and give a big wave goodbye as well. Okay, bye bye everybody. Ah, uh, there goes our citizen panel, ladies and. <laughs> oh man, that was a lot of people. Oh, that's terrific. That's the way it should be. That's our citizen panel for tonight. By the way, there'll be a new citizen panel right after us with Jack Bishop and the uh, intersection following next over most of this gabnet. I'll be back again on Tuesday night at 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And as always, be safe out there, okay? And make sure, above anything else, for yourself and for your fellow man and woman, that you wear a mask. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>